Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this video. I'm going to be doing a review on the new HP Lovecraft adaptation, Color Out of Space. It stars Nicolas Cage and is from Richard Stanley, and there's a lot to say about this movie. So, first off, I haven't seen a horror film do as much as this one in a really long time. For starters, Color Out of Space does fantastic with blending 80s and 90s horror along with modern day B-movie aesthetic, as it really does feel like a classic in the making. Color Out of Space really does have something for everyone, especially horror fans. From the, as from the atmospheric lovers to sci-fi and creature horror buffs to psychological fans, as well as having a satisfying handful of hard-hitting horror, die-hard dark comedy, and effective emotional value. And if none of this draws you to the film, my boy Nick Cage has you fucking covered. I mean, it's, it's pretty nuts, especially if you've seen films such as Mandy and Mom and Dad as well as Bad Lieutenant. His really kind of berserk roles, he seems to do really well with, and I'd love to see him do some more of those roles throughout the years. It, it's really, I think, a great fit for him. And honestly, the craziest thing about all this is that Colors, Color Out of Space doesn't even really do anything brand new or game-changing. But damn near everything that it does do, for the most part, fucking slays. I'd go as far as to say that this is the best horror film I've seen in quite a bit. I'm going to give Color Out of Space 2020 an 8. So I'm also going to be bringing along uh, Lane. Uh, he actually saw the movie with me along with uh, our good friend Jacob, and they got some they got some stuff that they want to say about the movie. Oh, yeah. Um, hi, I'm Lane, I guess. Um, so <laughs> He might be Lane. I read the short story... That was the toilet. Um, <laughs> I read the short story of it by H.P. Lovecraft, and it's interesting because the film has Nicholas Cage, as you know, but they also had this one actor that we're probably going to edit this part and put the actor's name in. But um, it's funny because like he's an African American actor, and H.P. Lovecraft was known for being racist and how well this character was. Like he was, he was pretty much the second main character besides Nicholas Cage, and that's saying something because. <laughs> Yeah, because especially, the case, especially with how much justice they did to his character. Yeah, they really actually let like a mm. black man shine. Yeah, and Tommy Chong was in it. <laughs> Tommy Chong, dude, honest. Okay, so like I knew that he was like when I heard that Tommy Chong was in the movie mm -hmm. and I saw like the character that he was gonna play, mm -hmm. I knew that you know he was gonna kill that role because I'm yeah. like he's just being himself. Yeah, and also like like the, the, there is a cat in here. But it's not named after the same cat that H.P. Lovecraft has, so don't don't worry about that. It's not <laughs> it's not that name. It, it's a funny name, but it's not yeah. like a messed up name like H.P. Lovecraft. The, cat. the amount of, of comedy that was in this film, for as dreadful and depressing as it was, and actually fucking suspenseful, and like as a as a as a horror buff myself, like I mean, H.P. Lovecraft really is just because he's so controversial and so I mean. He's he's like he used to be one of those kind of underrated authors, but he's slowly coming out. I think especially with like after films such as like Get Out from like Jordan Peele, especially with him working mm -hmm. on a Lovecraft uh, country. country. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are starting to come into this well, kind of groove where they really want to like express been, this stuff. It's always been like underground because of the the mm -hmm. Reanimator and Tales from the Nepanomicon. And freaking Evil Dead had the, yeah. the ne Nebricon in it. And that was the thing. Is like I felt I like I was watching the movie and like uh, there were so many throwbacks and homages to like other horror films, like Evil Dead, for example. There's a mm -hmm. lot of Poltergeist uh, feels that I, that I was yeah. getting. Like a lot of classic like uh, horror films really and like I, I felt really had a real effect on this movie. The director also had the homage to freaking Void. Yeah, yeah, I was totally, yeah, because totally kept caught on to the void, yeah. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, yeah, count all the triangles in the film, maybe <laughs> go see it. There's a lot, there's a lot of fucking triangles. I counted a hundred. <laughs> but... Oh, and here's Jacob. Jacob, do you have Jacob, anything do, to say? do you have any thoughts upon the movie that you'd like to say? It both disturbed me and amused me. <laughs> one of those movies you just can't walk away from. Right, or, but you also want to run away from. It's it's hard it's, to explain. It's a it's a sleeper hit for sure. It's it's, it's going to be a movie that's not going to get the attention it deserves. But those that do see, I really feel like they will do everything in their power to get this movie out there. This movie was fucking great. I would rate it a 
three and a half out of five. Okay, I thought you were okay. gonna say out of ten. I was like, boy. It is better than two and two shit. But yeah, this was this was a fantastic movie. It's, I'll give it a B plus. Ha. Huh, I yeah. changed it up on you too. <laughs> hey, that's a positive review. That's all that counts. <laughs> yes, uh this movie I recommend it strongly to everybody. Especially horror fans, but just mm-hmm. in general everybody. This movie I was like sensational about how much they actually put into this movie. It was it was crazy. So yes, go check out Colorado Space. Uh, it does have a limited release, I believe. So I don't know if it's gonna be at a theater near you or how long it's gonna be until it get, gets on DVD. But if you get the chance to see this movie, definitely check it out. So yeah, your independent film um, theaters or watch it on VOD legally. <laughs> Just see this movie some way or another. You won't regret Pay for it. it. <laughs> Don't pirate it, please. We I do not support pirates. <laughs> Even though we pirated a lot. Okay, I'm going to end now. Damn All it. Right. <laughs> Just well, kidding, FBI. Well, thank you for checking out this video, guys. I um, Let us know what you guys thought about the movie for those who have seen it. Uh, it is a brand new movie, very underrated film, so... And... The- Comment below all the other H.P. Lovecraft films that you think that Stu would like to review if he ever does a H.P. Lovecraft yeah. film top ten. Uh, yeah, and for those, I will definitely be including Lang because he is, what, your favorite author, right? One of my favorite authors, even yeah. though I hate his, his personality. <laughs> Let's just say that Lane knows a hell of a m- lot more about Lovecraft than I do. I just respect his style, and I respect the shit that he likes to write about. You I know I, he was a terrible person. He, uh, yeah... But in saying that, his horror was not terrible. It was delicious. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for checking into this video, guys. We have more reviews coming uh, around the corner. Um, we got Gretel and Hansel probably coming tomorrow. We plan to check that out. When it comes out, <laughs> it'll be a ride. Uh, we got Antebellum that we plan to review immediately, as well as Antlers, The Invisible Man. So a lot of horror films around the corner, especially. This is so far looking like a pretty sharp year for horror, um, as far as release-wise. But yes, uh, let us know what you guys thought in the comments below. And Take have care. Have a great day, but don't <laughs> die. <laughs> I mean, please don't.